there. So I am over here at my sister Coco's house and we are gonna do part two of our pumpkin creations. And basically all that is, is we went and gathered some pumpkins from the pumpkin patch for super cheap, actually. I can't, still can't believe how cheap we got them for. Like for a dollar basically each. And uh, what we do is we just gather lots of things from the forest, from the yard, like moss and different uh, tree branches. There's like, I don't know, all kinds of different leafy evergreens out here. And um, we decorate the pumpkin with those things. And then we put succulents on them or dried flowers, which she dries from her garden. And we did that movie the other day. So anyway, we are out here and um, we're just going to be collecting a bunch of things so that we can put these pumpkins together. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> I'm probably a little overdressed, but whatever. She's always cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, last year when we were doing this, um, we were walking around the yard trying to gather like just stuff that we had for free in our yard. And Jessica noticed that there was like moss growing like on the side. So we started using it for real. And so that's what we're going to do is step one is gather some stuff for our um, pumpkins that we're going to make. So I just like will get down like here and then just start like scraping it like the moss like that. It pulls up so easy. Then, I kind of shake it out. And then the little bit of a time consuming part is you have to go back and like pull all the grass out and get all the leaves and pine cones out of it just so it looks nice. But I really think that this, is, this helps um, the succulents like kind of maybe root into something yeah you know what i mean when they're on the pumpkin i agree because they find that dirt underneath mm -hmm. and it's like this moist you know like you yep. know so i agree I, you know so I, so it's pretty important to have some good base for them i think for them to survive longer on the pumpkin i'm thinking and that's probably why they outlive the pumpkin yeah you know yeah. So there, that's fine, that's one. And we just kind of keep doing that, set that there. And then I try to find stuff that doesn't have a lot of grass in it, but that's okay. She's gonna keep gathering some of that. And then I wanted to show you some of the stuff that she already collected. So this is some of the moss that she are already harvested. These are some pumpkin on a stick. You guys, these are the coolest plant. If you grow cut flowers, maybe consider trying to grow these. They are, they're pumpkin on a stick. That's what they are. It's just tiny little pumpkins. And here's actually one actually still on the stick. I think we got enough uh, moss. You think so? Oh yeah, that's so. a lot. Cause I got all that yes from yesterday from, yeah. from the drive. So we'll just throw these in here and then. Okay. And then she collected all these pine cones uh, from her yard. Oh yeah, and these too. What else do you got? Oh, these were all yes. around the basketball hoop. Oh my gosh! You know the chipmunk. My chipmunks would go nuts over there. <laughs> <laughs> Four times. Um, we had it 35 degrees or under in uh, a frost uh, and we're down in the hollow so we get colder and we covered it with frost cloth and it still didn't matter. I tried to water it, still didn't matter. So most of it is not usable. Mm -hmm. Like we're done for the year with the garden. Yeah. It's kind of sad. This is all frost damage because we had so much cold nights. Look at that. Uh, Can't use that, you know. Yeah. All the leaves are all burnt but what i was thinking was like a good one i'll come in i think and cut whatever i can for dry yeah like one last two case, okay, so i'm gonna try to get 10. okay and then whatever i don't get for 10 bouquets then i'm gonna try to dry the rest okay one last time just hack it all down put it in the base we wanted to here. show you that pumpkin on a stick it's so neat 
Here it is. What you're supposed to do is when they start bearing fruit or pumpkins or whatever, you're supposed to come in and knock all these leaves off like this. So it's so the sun gets to them and ripens it. But I'm so scared because it's cold. Yeah. That I'm afraid that if I do that, are they gonna be all like, oh my gosh, where's my <laughs> blankie? Yeah. So I'm scared to do what I'm supposed to do just because of the weather. So I'm just there. Why break it when I don't fix it? Why fix it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, why, why break it when it don't <laughs> fix it? <laughs> why fix it when you don't break it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't mess with it. We I, know what you mean. So yeah, so that's what they are. And then <clears throat> you, you can cut the whole vine and use it in a bouquet. However you want to do it. Decoration. They last yeah. forever. They dry good, too. Mm -hmm. So these are all the pumpkins we are going to decorate. There were ten, but she said one of them was a little bit rotty. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we should do it. Yeah, just It was a week and a little on the bottom, and I'm like, uh, eh, yeah. So we only got nine. That one's so cute. I love that one. All right, so now we're just gonna go around and cut, cut whatever we want. Some succulents. I was gonna go over here for So basically, she's just cutting a little top off of any succulent that she wants to use and what will happen is this stem right here will actually produce two more stalks off of that so not only are we able to get a cutting for our pumpkin decorating but it's also kind of bettering the plant as well because it will make it uh, produce two more shoots These heads are really cool. I'm gonna cut those. Just gonna continue cutting a bunch of succulents that we want to use. Oh, look at that red one. Yeah, we should cut those. Cut some of those. So pretty. All right, let's keep collecting some succulents. Yeah, that's pretty. That would be like a nice little centerpiece. Yeah. We got married in a fever Hotter than a pepper sprout We been talking about These are cool I just haven't cut from the, these are like from last year mm -hmm. So they've been like I think itching for me to Cut them this is a bowl that she actually uses to make the hyper tufa pots and we can show you guys how to make that uh, one day but you basically just mix up a mixture of cement, perlite, peat moss, and water and I think it's all kind of equal parts and uh, you just pour it in some Tupperware and maybe put another Tupperware inside that's a little bit smaller how depending on how thick you want your um, container to be and let it dry overnight and you have a really cool container that looks like this. Cool. Look at that, it's just begging. Right. Yeah, so when we glue these on to the pumpkin, this is what will happen too. It will start to produce these roots. And once your pumpkin starts to rot, you can go ahead and take all these succulents or hens and chicks off and plant them up. Like, it's just like asking, like looking yeah. for dirt. Yeah, it wants to be planted. So that would be something to cut. Yeah. I just had to stop. I was gonna cut some too and help her out, but I seen this beautiful little cactus. So pretty. 
all y'all that live in the southern states that can grow these in your yard, I'm so jealous <laughs> in a good way. So many cool cactus and succulents out there. All right, let's start cutting. Go ahead. You can't go heavy. Purple. Yeah. Yeah. Like, exactly. all those Did, have you ever tried that? The chai green chai made? No. Do you think it would grow or melt? Well, no. Like, it's such a hardy plant, and it's literally easy. Do you want to try it? I wonder if it would. Maybe. I had to show you guys this, so my sister cut this one off probably, I don't know, last week or so. It already started to shoot up two more little babies. So you can see the cut right there. And actually, I'm gonna cut this one off because it is wanting to shoot up these babies and it will help these babies be stronger if I cut this one off. Chop <laughs> and put it in my bucket. What song? Oh, the sisters. Such a good song. <laughs> Some of this orange. Sitting in the pool, swing, listen to the light rain. Ready just to make it. Rocking with the rhythm of the rain. <laughs> Slide on over, baby, hold me closer. Swaying like a slow freight train. Rocking with the rhythm of the rain. Let the breeze. Let the sweet and ooh feel soft flowing. Once in a lifetime, me and my babe rocking with the rhythm of the rain. Yeah. That was good. This is what we gathered. Have it all laid out on the table with like the acorns just extra glue and some pins so we need to make sure we pin some of the big succulents down just in case they get a little wobbly some pine cones pumpkin on a stick we got the moss so she just take, takes her glue gun there glues this down and it's ready to be decorated i think we did it on the stem Do you remember that you pinned it on the stem yeah like we rested it on the stem oh yeah so it gave it some height there, there we go. That's a little better for height. There. And then we kind of like played off that. And then I just go back in. Oops. And glue it. <laughs> That kind of helped it, like, give it some height and some structure, I don't know, some texture. So we pin them all. And then if I can't pin it, I'll stick my thing through there, like through, you know, once one thing, and then pin it like that. And then I glue it. And then they don't come out at all. It's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, these we could use for height. That'd oh, that looks height. cool in there. I love that blue color next to the orange. So do I. I just put that under another pin I had already. Yeah, we're getting there. <clears throat> yeah, the pine cone helped a lot. That. Yeah. 
Thank you for helping me. Yeah. That one. I don't like the look of that. Even though I'm like not happy about when fall ro rolls around, I like look forward to this. <laughs> really? Yeah. The pumpkins? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I just love... You mean making pumpkins? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because I just That's love cool. all the colors and like there's so many colors on this table right now. It's just making me so happy. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Like, oh. Everybody talks about the California quakes The first time I felt the earth shake was in Miami Amy My sister is done with that one it Turned out so pretty Love it! We'll see! Good job! Thanks! I'm working on mine and I don't love it yet But it will come together Still working on it. Oh, that's gonna be a fun one. Yep. So I pretty. think I might put one in my house this year. What? Never have, never. What? Never had one in my house yet, but we'll see. Miami, Miami. I like your little cluster of Mr. Nuts. Mr. Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this That's the ticket right there. You found the perfect one? Yeah, I think so. If I can get it in there, we'll see. Oh, yeah. And then there's a hole there, so I'll just throw something else in there. See what that does. So pretty. And I want to do something around here, and then I can see glue in there. So I gotta fill that little area with a little one, maybe. Yeah. And then these little cute little hens and chicks. Yeah. You know, they're so nice just to add for like fillers. Fillers and it's a completely different texture than the succulent. Yes. Yeah, it's just cool. More of, more of a rosette. Like, look. put something there. There's this kind of them too. You should get more of them. Yeah, and it's a good value for the customer. Like you said, they can take mm -hmm. all these off and plant them. Yeah, these, you know, these chicks already have roots on them. Yeah. And they'll continue to root into this moss. I really like this kind of stuff now. But we're maybe getting older, I don't know. I know. <laughs> Is it because we're getting older? Maybe. <laughs> We've always liked the arts and crafts, though. Yeah. And I feel like mom growing up, too, like, you know, she didn't go out and spend a ton of money on different things, no. so... We kind of learned how to get by with what we had. <laughs> Being in a family of six kids. Yeah. So, like, just things like this were, were fun. At different activities, like climbing trees. You yeah. know, like, remember we used to climb trees and stuff? <laughs> Okay, okay, this is the hardest part, is starting, starting. Yep. picking something to start with. Yep. 
It is. That guy. Just pin him on and get going. Yeah. That's the hardest part is starting anything really. Yeah. The dishes, so the laundry, <laughs> dinner. <laughs> That's the hardest part. It's so true. But then once like, you get in, you know, like halfway done with the laundry, you don't think about like I think I might stop now. I know. You know, you keep going. Well, that's my problem is, like, once I start, I have to do everything. Like, I, like, I can't just clean the kitchen. Like, I can't just clean the dishes or the kitchen. I have to clean the entire house. Like, yeah. the floors, the baseboards, the toilet. Like, yeah. And by that time, I'm just, so I'm like, so yeah, starting is like, okay, do I want to start this massive crazy yes. tornado right now? But then you're always glad you did. Yeah. That pine cone is cool. It's mm -hmm. like popping out of the side. Well, I left my home right on the road. I told my Well, I don't know how well these will sell. Oh but my gosh. If they, They're gonna see you always say that. You're so sell, humble. If they don't sell them, <laughs> we'll just keep with this amount. We'll adjust. But if they, if people do like them, then we'll, um, maybe we can get more. Oh, okay. next pumpkin patch visit. This moss is just to that die nice? for. Do you know how much money you pay for this? And like at Joanne or really? Hobby Lobby? Yeah. I mean, it's not like like ridiculously expensive but like if you're doing a project like this it adds it up. It would be yeah. You need a lot of and this it. is gorgeous. Yeah and it's all natural. It's all yeah. cool like it's not processed or you know. Yep. And the, I think it's the perfect um, moisture for these succulents too. Yeah. Like it's, you can kind of <clears throat> feel it's a little damp. Yeah. But not like Yep. Yeah, like if, if you guys are going to be trying this at home, I mean, if you can find things that are in your yard, like moss or, uh, you know, pine cones, acorns, uh, we use, like at Christmas time, we use the, um, like leaves from evergreen trees or pine trees or things like that and kind of put them on here and that looks really pretty. Um, cypress, remember that oh, cypress yes. we used? That was so that pretty. Bush. It was like lime. Mm. Was yeah. it lime? Neon yellow. Or what yeah. I, wait, am I thinking of the right one? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, it was really pretty. Or that blue spruce. The blue spruce. We used the blue spruce too. Yeah, that was pretty. Or driftwood. Um, we found this oh, yeah. driftwood from Lake Michigan. Uh, you know, you can utilize stuff like this in your arrangement. And honestly, like the only thing you really have to pay for is like a glue gun. And a lot of people already have glue guns. And then glue sticks. Right? Is that it? That's it. Yeah. Well, and the pumpkin. You gotta get a pumpkin. Yeah, it. that's true. But the rest of this stuff. I mean, if you've got succulents that need a little care and they need a little rejuvenation, just pop the head right off. Make yourself a cute little pumpkin. Yep. Um, so when we when we were doing this last year, I was like, um, we had, Jessica, you found us, remember you found us like, all those succulents at the roadside stand for a dollar for like three or four of them in yeah. the pot. They were like 25 cents each. They're like crazy, crazy cheap. So she 
got us a whole bunch. And then, so we ended up getting, remember we went back, like, <laughs> we got, we like cleared them out. And then, so we came home last year, at the, and it was at the end of the year, that's why we got them such a good deal. And we were like, what are we gonna do with all these succulents? <laughs> and then we started Googling it, and it was like in the fall, because mm -hmm. it was so late. And we're like, okay, let's try to glue them and pin them on. <laughs> yep. See if it works. I was so nervous the first time I tried it. I know. I, I, I remember like, you sent me this isn't going to work. <laughs> and I was so confused. I was really? like, did you? I thought you carved the pumpkin out and oh. you like put dirt in there and planted the, the succulents inside the pumpkin. I'm like, zoom, zoom in. in on the picture like... How did she do this? I don't get it. And then I, so when I seen it in real life, I was like, oh, it's glued on there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I remember I showed Jeff the first time. I was so nervous because, you know, I didn't know if it was good or not. Yeah. And I showed him and he was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. And I was like, yeah. really? And then you're like, it's cool. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let's see if. Everybody else likes them, not just us, because we're plant people. I wanted to show you, uh, we, we pretty much used almost everything that we cut so far. We, yeah. we might have to gather a few more things just so that our last pumpkin uh, looks as gorgeous as the other ones. But I wanted to show you what we have left so far and then uh, also show you what we're going to do with uh, the leftover little leaves, I guess. All of these have kind of, you know, fallen off as we've been creating our pumpkinlets here. This is the only succulents that we have left from the ones we cut. So like I said, we might have to go gather a few more uh, varieties, but what you can do is you can just take these little leaves and uh, you can set them on the soil just like this. And uh, they will start to create their own little root system and it will produce a like, tiny little succulent on the end of it. And so each one of these little leaves, here, oh, let me show you this one. This one already has a root on there. See that little tiny white root on there? It's already ready to be put in the soil and create you a whole nother succulent. So if you have this situation with your succulents or if your leaves fall off and it's a clean cut like that on the end, you could totally use this. Don't throw it away. Stick it on top of some soil and you can grow yourself another succulent. It's true. <laughs> we did it in the house, remember? Yeah. We did it yeah. in the house. We Wonder just put it by the window in the house, the whole tray. And we do the squirt bottle on it once a day. Yes, that's, that's how we start them because mm -hmm. it's too expensive to heat this thing mm -hmm. in the winter. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, speaking of squirt bottles, if you want to keep your succulents alive for longer on these pumpkins, uh, you can squirt them if you would like. Spray, yeah, just take yeah. the squirt bottle, maybe spray it like, I don't know, I think I my one I sprayed last year maybe like once a week or two, not even. Coco is just putting the last finishing touches on her on our last pumpkin and we ended up using pretty much all of it a ton all of it there's just Almost, a few yeah. extra things and those will be fine just sitting on this table until yep. next week when she makes her that for next week's market but yeah that one looks so pretty you like it so this one we did um this nice big head that was a good focal 
and then a little sneak under there of it and then we tried this is our first try we're trying a cactus oh yeah I thought it was kind of cool some like different texture so we did nine total we kind of grouped them because this is we were thinking about maybe price point mm -hmm. so we were thinking these two twenty dollars so this one twenty dollars we'll see I like this one it's pretty and then this one love this one cute yep and then these ones will do 25 they're a little bit bigger like a medium size very nice another one Kind of nice because they all look good around the whole thing, you know? Yeah. Maybe. And that just front. One side. And then these are the bigger ones. We're thinking 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So pretty. This is the one we just made. I love that color pumpkin. This is cool. The green color. Oh, yeah. A little bit more subtle. Yep. Last one. So, hopefully it'll go over good at market on Saturday, and um, we'll see. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you just maybe were inspired to do a fun project with things that you already have. I know not everybody has a giant, gorgeous greenhouse full of amazing succulents to choose from. <laughs> so uh, we're kind of blessed in that area. Um, but you know, everybody has something and you probably have something laying out around in your house that I'd be like, that's really cool. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, just be creative, think outside of the box. Uh, you could, you don't even have to do this with, with succulents. You could do dried flowers or um, rocks. I love rocks, yeah. leaves, uh, sticks, just anything that you can find. Um, just have fun with it if you're looking for a fun project to do. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're always trying to try new things. And we get to spend time together. I know, we get to <laughs> spend time together and talk about all the world's problems and solve them. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, thank you guys truly for watching. So I hope that you have a really great day. Bye.